Transport Minister Frank Daly says climate change is a global challenge which calls for concerted efforts and action from all stakeholders. Mr. Tayali was speaking in Osaka when he officially opened the Inclusive Climate Resilience Transport Planning Workshop organized by the Zambia Road Safe Trustee. More in this report. The devastating effects of climate change have not spared road infrastructure. In the recent past, the country has witnessed the washing away of roads and bridges. This situation has caught the attention of government and the international community. This is why the Zambia Road Safety Trust and other key stakeholders have convened in Lusaka for a two-day inclusive climate resilient transport planning meeting. Landslides in mountainous areas and fluctuating water levels have also become the order of the day. It is for this reason that I call upon all relevant implementing ministries, agencies, and key stakeholders to ensure that the policy measures set by the government are actualized without fail. Daniel Mwamba is Zambia Road Safety Trust chairperson. Uh, this workshop will provide a greater understanding of these prospective tools and also demonstrate some practical examples of how these tools could be used to make our transport more resilient, more inclusive, and to the impacts of climate change. We want to provide here to, in the next two days practical ex experience of how to use some of these methods. And finally, we'd like you, your feedback on this guidance document to see how it can be improved. Meanwhile, Peter Wale, who represented the blind, is confident that the workshop will address key road safety inclusive matters. As persons with disabilities, we are the first to be forgotten and the last to be remembered. And that fact, you can see it even from the way the roads are being constructed, the buildings, they don't put lamps, the shoulders are narrow, the same shoulders are being used by uh, uh, motorists are crossing them. The workshop that has been attended by key stakeholders from the transport sector is expected to close on Friday, May 13. Ephraim Chiluba ZNBC News. Lusaka. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.